Let us make a comparison of the four historical methods that we had discussed so far. In all the cases, sales is of course the same. There is no change. The sales has been given 4,500 containers at the rate of rupees 75. Opening inventory value has been given 400 containers at rupees 48. Sales, opening inventory and purchases are the same irrespective of the method. <clears throat> However, there is a change in the closing inventory whether we follow FIFO, DFO, average price or weighted average price. If you notice, we have a different value of inventory in each of these methods. Under FIFO, it is 62,000. FIFO under FIFO method, closing inventory consisted of the latest prices, latest purchase prices. First in, first out. Under LIFO, it was just the reverse because goods which came in last were issued first and therefore the inventory consisted of the goods which were purchased earliest. The inventory under LIFO method in this example is only 49,000. Under FIFO, it was 62,000. Under the average price method, it was 55,000, which was a simple average of all the prices. There were five prices involved. Therefore, we summed up the prices, added up the prices, divided by five and arrived at 55, rupees 55. Mind you, in all these cases, the number of units involved continues to be 1,000. We are talking of the value of 1,000 units of inventory, 62,000 under FIFO, 49,000 under LIFO, 55,000 under the average price method, and under the weighted average price, it was 55,745. 55,745. In this particular example, the highest value of inventory is under FIFO and the lowest cost of goods sold is under FIFO. Cost of goods sold under FIFO is 2,54,600, under LIFO 2,57,600, under average price 2,51,600 and under the weighted average price 2,50,855. The profits are highest under FIFO and the least under LIFO. Under the average price, it's 48,400 and weighted average price, 49,145. Therefore, the method of valuation of inventories affects the profits and also the balance sheet since the closing inventory will appear in the balance sheet.